I remember coming to LA on a bus. I came to Los Angeles in 1953, brought with me an old suitcase and an 8mm camera that I won in a raffle. I came looking for a job. I'm a mechanical engineer, or I was, and I uh, got my degree from City College of New York, but I had never been outside of New York. I grew up in the Bronx with my parents and brother, and, and it was time to set out on my own. My family was great. My father was a bus driver, very hard working, and he loved his family. My mom and brother, they were pretty quiet. Even though mom took tremendous care of us, she hardly ever spoke. Uh, my brother the same way. He was shy and quiet. I love him though. The early 50s was still a post-war period. When men came back from the war and they started moving to the suburbs. They moved for their families. Now I never understood why there was such a rush to the suburbs. I loved the city. But then when I came to California and I wanted to work hard like my father, and I did. But there's something else out here. You could work hard, but also be in, in paradise. I stayed in a hotel for my first few weeks. I remember, I remember meeting a guy named Wells there. He was, uh, he was a nice man, hard-working guy. He wanted to be an actor. He came out, I think, after the race riots in Chicago, 51. Anyway, it was hard for an African-American man. It was hard for anybody to make it as an actor, but I've never seen anybody who worked so hard. His whole family was... Well, I understood it, burdened by hard labor in Chicago. But his mother, she insisted he come out here and make it for all of them. He definitely was a courageous man. That area we lived in, there are many things people just accepted. Many prejudices. The racism was very bad. Wells was not going to make it easily, but he was encouraged. I think it was, is the city. It's like a vibe. It's a place for that people start new lives. I ended up raising my family here. Wife, and three kids. LA has let me achieve to have a life. Well, I'm grateful for that.